Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, today I will be discussing about problems of probability of class 12 for students of science stream. And that is exercise 14.1 of basic mathematics. So, you all know the basic formula to calculate probability of any event is number of favorable outcome by number of possible outcome. On basis of this formula, we will be able to solve almost all the problems of this exercise 14.1. So, let us start from question number 1. Question number 1 is related to throw of a die. A die is thrown once. We need to determine the probability of getting an even number, a number more than or equal to 3, a number less than or equal to 4. So, how to start? Have a look. Question number 1. The problem is related to throw of a die. So, the numbers which are available in a die are you all know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These all are the possible outcomes. So, possible outcomes, possible outcomes, it can be written as a set and we can write the elements of set are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and we need even number. So, even numbers 2, 4, 6, number more than equal to 3, 4, 5, 6. So, for first number A, probability of getting an even number. For an even number, we need either 2 or 4 or 6. So, 1, 2, 3. 3 is number of favorable outcome. So, number of favorable outcome is 3 and possible number of possible outcomes 6 and we get 1 by 2 the required probability. Similarly, B a number less than a number more than or equal to 3. So, probability of getting number more than equal to 3 for this we need either 4 or 5 or 6 so we have favorable outcomes 3 by 6 answer 1 by 2 for number more than or equal to 3 we have number of favorable outcomes 3 and number of possible outcomes 6 again probability of getting number less than or equal to 4 less than or equal to 4 less than or equal to 4 means 4 3 2 as well as 1 it is related to less than number so 4 3 2 1 less than or equal to 4 4 by 6 2 by 3 Now, number 2, a bag contains 9 red, 7 white and 4 black balls. So, number 2 is related to getting a red ball a red ball or a white ball not a red ball so whatever we have we can list it first of all notation is required let r w and b denote red ball white ball and 
ब्लैक बल रेस्पेक्ट टेबली सो वी गेट टोटल नंबर ऑफ रेड बल्स नाइन व्हाइट बल्स सेवन एंड ब्लैक बल्स फोर टोटल नंबर ऑफ बल्स वी गेट नाइन प्लस सेवन प्लस फोर इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नंबर ए प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग रेड बॉल वी हैव ऑल टूगेदर नाइन रेड बॉल एंड टोटल बॉल्स ट्वेंटी सो दिस विल बी नाइंटी आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी बी a red ball or a white ball probability of getting a red or a white so it is related to mutually exclusive events because of or we can write probability of getting r plus probability of getting w r 9 out of 20 and w 7 out of 20 Sixteen out of twenty. Eight by ten. Four by five is the required probability. C. Not a red ball. Probability of getting not a red ball. And this is probability of getting not red ball. We can write in this way. So one minus P R. One minus probability of getting red ball nine out of twenty, we get eleven by twenty. This is our answer. Similarly, number three is related to card. A card is drawn from a deck of fifty-two cards. What is the probability that it is a spade, a red? Eight, a red nine, or a red ten, a king, or a diamond? There are three questions. and you all know in a group of 52 cards we have 13 spade 26 red 26 black on basis of their numbers and using this formula probability of getting a or b or c probability of a plus b plus c by using mutually exclusive events we can solve this problem so number 4 let's discuss on number 4 question number 4 is related to participation of students in different curricular activities on the occasion of college day so a list is there you can see in your book so number of activities zero means those who are not participating in any of the games or any of the activities are 18 so this is zero activities 18 students one activity 30 students two activities 12 students and total number of students we have 60 and on basis of this information we have to calculate probability of getting for a probability for one activity total number of students those who are participating in one activity is 30 and total number of students 60 so this is our favorable outcome and this is the possible outcome so we get 1 by 2 as the probability for one activity b at least one activity at least one activity at least one means it may be more than one also so it says probability of one activity or two activities 
and 3 is not given. So probability for one activity 30 out of 60 and for 2 12 out of 60. We get 42 out of 60 and the simplified will give the answer. Seven by ten is the answer of this question number four a. Five is similar to three and four. Number six. In a computer course, the probability that a student will get grade A is zero point five seven, and the probability that he will get grade B is zero point three four. What is the probability that the students will get grade a or B. It is also related to mutually exclusive events and we know if events A and B are mutually exclusive events then probability of getting A or B will be probability of A plus probability of B. Using this formula we can solve this question number 6. So according to question number 6 probability of getting grade, grade A is 0 0.57 and probability of getting grade B is 0 0.34. Number A, what is the probability that the students will get? A student will get either grade A or grade B. So if a student is there, either he will get A or he will get B. At the same time, he cannot get grade A as well as grade B. So, it is the case of mutually exclusive event. So, we can write probability of A, probability of B. And we have 0 0.57 plus 0 0.34, 0 0.91. This is the answer. B. B, if there are only three grades A, B and C, what is the probability that a student will get grade C? So here we can write probability of A plus probability of getting B, probability of getting C grade is equal to 1 because only three grades are available. Now 0 0.57 plus 0 0.34 plus probability of getting grade C 1. It gives us probability of getting grade C is equal to 1 minus 0 0.91 is equal to 0 0.09. That's all. Question number 6, 7. PA, probability of A is 0 0.5, probability of B is 0 0.35 probability of A union B is given 0 0.55 find A intersection B are A and B independent. You all know we can calculate value of P A intersection B by using the formula because A union B A and B are given. So, this problem can be solved by this method probability of getting A intersection B is equal to P A plus P B minus P A intersection B. P A union B is given 0 0.55, P A is given 0 0.4, 0 0.35 minus P A intersection B. It will give us the value of A, A intersection B. <clears throat> In next video, we will be discussing the remaining problems. Hope you all understood the problems, the solution. In next video, I will be discussing the solution of remaining problems. Thank you.